Love weekly vlog here in Kent on Sunday the 21st of May and I just want to wish my very bestest friend and the whole wide world Ellie a very happy birthday um, because I can't be with her today and I feel really bad and I'm really sorry but I hope you have the most amazing amazing day and I can't wait to celebrate with you next weekend when we can party and drink and have a ball basically um, and also when we go out on the 7th of June for your birthday celebrations we will have a good time there's so many people out here now there wasn't a second ago but there's so many people out here now <laughs> so they're all gonna be looking at me but yeah so the really good news is this morning I qualified for set dance I came second and here's my trophy to prove it <laughs> I also got a certificate as well that's inside so yeah I came second and I will be off to nationals in October I think it's October the 8th at the Guildford Spectrum um, I first went to grand finals when I was 13 so very very long time maybe 10 years ago now and I've got through every year apart from last year so um, I'm very very excited um, because I think the last couple of vlogs at dance competitions I've been like I haven't got through so I've been a little bit sad but yeah I'm really really happy today and I just want to thank my mum and dad for all their support because my mum was literally crying so much when she found out and also my dance teacher too thank you because I know you, you watch these now um, so also on demand for my dance teacher I've been asked to show you this we came first in our team which I absolutely love team. Um, I helped choreograph it and I, I just absolutely love it. We danced a song from RuPaul's Drag Race and it's really catchy and I just love it really. It's very warm out here. Um, I'm loving this weather, not that I get to enjoy it much. Actually, I've got quite a few days off this week, but I'm gonna go now because everyone's out here screaming and shouting and um, I'm missing out on everyone else dancing. So I will catch up with you later. Never have I been so excited to get into bed, but this is the current situation. I'm in bed. I've got my foam lobsters from Wax and Spencer's and I'm watching TV and I'm with Adam. Oh, it feels so good to be back with him, even though I saw him yesterday, but oh, it feels so good to be back in our little flat in my own bed. And yeah, I can't stop smiling. It's really bizarre, like the feeling from sort of Friday and yesterday, as you would have seen in last week's vlog, to today, where I can't stop smiling and I'm really happy and the mood's just completely changed. But I did it. I got through. I came second. I did everyone proud and now to work extremely hard before October. Um, I've got a bit of weight to lose, a bit of stamina to get up and uh, yeah just generally a lot of hard work to do but it's doable I guess. Um, obviously I've got Disney in a few weeks so I'm going to miss out on a few weeks of classes and stuff because I will be in America but after that um, I will be going back to the gym and trying to build up my stamina. So yeah, it was a really good day, um, all in all. I'm really, really proud of the team and I'm really, really proud of everyone who uh, got medals and trophies and qualified and just did really well. So I'm going to go to sleep because I feel broken. I feel like I've been run over by a bus. Um, yeah, my knee is slightly dodgy. My knee always gets hurts and gets dodgy when I either I'm really excited or really stressed out. So yeah, it's starting to hurt a bit and my shins hurt because three years ago, three years ago, three, four years ago now, I broke my left shin um, by dancing too hard on a floor and uh, it cracked my shin so I still get a little bit of pain from that. But it's not worth moaning about when good things have come out of today. So I'm going to step down and sleep now and I will see you all in the morning. Good morning, it's Tuesday the 23rd of May and I didn't film yesterday. It's really bizarre because I just didn't get around to picking up the camera. I was so busy yesterday that I just completely didn't film anything and by the time I got back here last night it was nearly 10 past 10, maybe even later than that. Um, so. Adam had already got into bed so I just got in because I was so tired from the day before so I didn't film yesterday. I went to work yesterday morning 
um, aching and tired and didn't really want to go. But I went to work yesterday morning and till about three o'clock and then I went to dancing. Um, I also picked up my contact lenses and uh, picked up my own colour for birthday card because it was his birthday yesterday. Then I went to dancing, I came home, I had dinner, went to see my uncle, then came back here. So it was quite a full packed day yesterday so by like 10 last night I was ready to collapse and sleep. But it's, so it's Tuesday today, I am working today 10 till 4 and Adam's working 8 till 4 so he's already gone. I am just getting ready really, just sort of pottering around, um, done my hair and makeup, had a shower because my hair was so greasy from Sunday with all the hairspray and stuff. Um, still got a bit of tan on, tried to wash it off but still there a little bit. I've got a really nice line on my elbow and on my back. So when we finish at four, we're gonna go and do a food shop and just chill out really. I think we've got quite a lot of planned for this week now. So I think tomorrow we're going shopping for holiday stuff for Adam potentially. And then Thursday, I'm having my fill in, but then Adam wants to go and play golf in the afternoon. And we might be going out for dinner with people from work. And then Friday, I've got dance all day and then I'm coming back here and then Saturday I've got work and then it's Ellie's birthday thing and then Sunday we're also going out for lunch so yeah it's quite a busy week for having some time off but I'm excited because I'm spending it with people I it's love. It's nearly six o'clock now and I've just got home from work slash food shopping uh, at Tesco's and I've just come into the bedroom and I'm gonna catch up on probably not gonna focus not going to focus. Uh, last night and Friday night's EastEnders because I miss them and Adam absolutely hates EastEnders so he's in the front room watching YouTube or listening to a sport or something and I'm in here. But I'm not going to dwell on it too much but I just wanted to obviously say that I am reflecting back on last night's events that happened in Manchester and it is very very sad what happened and I'm just so thankful that I'm still here and basically all I'm going to say is hold your loved ones close to you more than ever today because well I had the best day of my life on Sunday probably one of the best days of my life that I've had in a long time and some people who probably had the best night of their lives last night at the Ariana Grande concert aren't with us anymore or they're severely injured or they've lost their loved ones or their family or their friends so I just count myself very very lucky that I'm still here and obviously my family and friends are safe so my heart goes out to all of those affected last night um, with the attacks in Manchester but enough on that I'm going to watch these senders now and have my jacket potato in a minute. I'm very excited, I haven't had a jacket potato for a very long time. So I will have that and just chill out I think this evening. How beautiful is this weather today? It's like 23 degrees and I've finally got just a just like strappy top on. And sandals, it's so lovely. We've come out to try and get Adam some shorts and stuff for holiday. Um, I'm used by a printer to print off our like visas and stuff for America. So having like a nice chill that day until I work later, sort of shopping and just picking up a few bits really. I am so happy with how that shopping trip went. We didn't manage to get a printer, but we just had a look at prices and stuff and like reviews online. So hopefully we'll be getting one in the near future. But we did get Adam six pairs of shorts um, holiday. So I'm really pleased because he's now on his way to um, being ready like me. Um, but it's two o'clock now. I'm just having my ice solo because it's that hot in here. And I've just jumped in the shower and washed my hair to try and cool down a little bit. And I'm just um, watching Brogan's Benidorm vlog. Look what I am, I'm back in the comfy bed. As much as I love um, sleeping next to Adam at night, I absolutely adore just having a chance to spread out once in a while um, in my bed at mum and dad's. So as you can tell, I'm back there. It's coming up for quarter to 12 now and I'm not even tired. I don't know why. Um, I think it's because it's really, really hot. But I'm not tired, so I might just read for a bit or 
I don't really know what I'm doing. Try and sleep, I suppose, because I have to be up early tomorrow because tomorrow is filling number two. Well, is it two? It's, it's the other side, so we'll call it filling number two. Um, I'm not even worried about it because the last one was absolutely fine and that was so much more worse than what I've got to have done tomorrow, so it'll be absolutely fine. Um, I'm looking forward to filming with a droopy mouth again because I've had so many funny comments from people about my droopy mouth. So we look forward to that. Also going to play golf tomorrow. I'm not personally, I'm rubbish at golf. Um, Adam and his dad are going to play golf and I am going along um, because we have a golf buggy which I am chief driver. I'm not very good. Last time we went I nearly tipped it over in the first five minutes. But I'm going to try and take you along with me in the golf buggy, so that'll be fun. And then tomorrow evening I'm going out for dinner with Adam and Ellie and a few of the other people I work with, um, just because we're not working tomorrow night really, so we decided we were going to go out for dinner. It's really lovely to be home actually and see mum and dad after everything that's happened this week um, in the news and on social media it's just nice to give them a hug and know that we're all still safe but I don't know what else would be so I'm looking forward to a few days of um, just spending time with friends and Adam and just making the most of my time off and making the most of living the best life so this is where I'm gonna sign off for today and I will see you on a hot and sunny Thursday, I hope. <laughs> Good night. So this is the part of the video where for a minute of your life you get to watch me film myself with a numb mouth. <laughs> but hello everyone, uh, happy Thursday the 25th of May. Um, excuse my appearance as well, I haven't even bothered to do anything with my hair. I've brushed it but it's just sticking out and it needs straightening and it just needs attention really. Um, it's about 25 degrees today and I'm really happy because I can wear a maxi dress today. I'm not sure how glamorous that's going to look on a golf buggy later on, but for now I'm happy wearing my maxi dress and sandals. But yeah, so like I say, it's quarter past 11. I've just got back to Adam's after having what is the most gruelling filling yet. It was quite a deep one. Not that you need to know that because that's just disgusting. Um, I'm very numb as you can probably tell on this side. Um, I'm absolutely starving. And I'm really thirsty because uh, obviously the tablets I've on for my shingles dry my mouth right out. So I'm here with a little cup of water and a straw trying to feed it in the left side. Um, it's not going too well but uh, I am hoping the next couple of hours pass really quickly and that it goes off really quickly because as I say I'm so hungry and I just want to eat everything I can see and Adam's laughing at me um, for apparently dribbling, I'm not dribbling because there's no saliva left in my mouth so I'm not dribbling but he's laughing at me, calling me names, all that rubbish but yeah, that's fine so we're just gonna chill out for a little I think, I think I'm just gonna wait for this to come round um, and then we're off to golf at three so I'm gonna try and take you along with me and see what I can film there it might be quite hard as I'm chief buggy driver um, but I'm hoping to get a little bit of footage for you so I will see you later on. It's ten past two, the sun is shining and let's go golfing.
through the game. We're just about to start hole 10, but the buggy has gone down on us. Like the power's gone. I can't even floor it. It's just not working. So Adam's dad's gone to replace the buggy. So we're just having a little break in the shade before we complete the next nine holes. Excuse the really unflattering angle and really unflattering appearance right now. I've just literally bunned my hair up because I'm so hot. Um, I'm actually quite embracing the heat this evening in the flat and I think I will be fine when we go to Florida, hopefully. But it is about 11 o'clock at night now and we've just got home from what has been the loveliest day ever. Um, after like a ropey start with my mouth, like golf was so much fun. And then we've just got home from a lovely meal with everyone at work and drinks by the lake. Oh, it was so lovely. I didn't obviously film with all my work colleagues because it's just not the right place getting the camera up. But obviously I did film quite a bit of golf so I hope you enjoyed all the sort of clips from that. Um, I'm really full up as well. I had a lovely burger which um, <laughs> I had to tell the guy to take everything out because I'm such a fussy eater. So I literally just wanted the burger in the bun. And then he still gave me tomato and red onion in there and gherkins. Um, I ate the tomato and red onion but I really don't like gherkins so that was a no-no. Um, and then I had a couple of orange juices, but <laughs> towards the end of the night I got really giggly, so uh, Adam and a couple of other people dared me to taste Andy's whiskey. So I was like, why not? Let's do it. Let's live life. So I, I uh, sipped a bit of the whiskey. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever tasted, but it wasn't. It was so, like, all I could describe it was is like, the cream that I've been putting on my lips for them and dry lips, the way it burns. Um, so I won't be trying that again in a hurry. I do quite fancy brandy at some point, just I, I need to try and be a little more adventurous I guess. So that's that. Um, so we're just off to bed now. Um, I have dancing tomorrow and I have quite a busy weekend ahead so I'm gonna sign off for today and hopefully see you very early in the morning. I also need to get Ellie, <laughs> Ellie I'm really sorry if you're watching this, I also need to finish getting Ellie's presents because I've only got her a big present, I feel like I need to get her some small things. Um, I feel like I can say what I'm, we're getting, I'm, we're, it's a group thing, um, we're getting Ellie for her birthday this year now because what, when by the time this vlog goes up she will have received it. So on the 7th of June, myself and Steph and Max um, are taking Ellie to see an American in Paris in London, which is sort of a group choice. Um, someone we used to work with is actually in it, uh, so we're going to try and go and support and uh, just have fun really. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing that. So Ellie, if you're watching a little bit later in the week, I hope you like it. I really don't know what I'm saying. I haven't had any alcohol either. I'm just delirious from two sips of whiskey, which I can't even remember the name of it. I was going to try and attempt to say it then, but I won't. So I'm going to stop rambling, and I will see you in the morning when I try and find Ellie some more gifts for her birthday. Hello everyone, happy Saturday. I've not been very consistent this week, so I didn't film again yesterday, but it was too hot to do anything, really. So I didn't really feel like getting the camera out for me to look a hot and sweaty mess. Um, but I didn't really do that much. I went dancing, and then I just came back here and I spent uh, about an hour editing the vlog. Um, and just trying to sleep, because I couldn't sleep because it was so hot. But it's much better today. Um, so I thought I would show you before I wrap them very badly uh, what I've bought Ellie for her birthday. I'm also a little bit worried because I don't know how far this sellotape is going to get us because I've got quite a lot of stuff. So we might have to use uh, like, it's like duct tape, like Alex tape, so Adam uses at his job. I might have to use that and apologise profusely that I ran out of sellotape. But yeah, so um, I've got this wrapping paper, which is like pink and yellow dots, um, and the gift bag is matching pink and yellow dots. So, um, I've got her some sparkling Pinot Grigio. I'm not sure if she likes it, but I suppose it's like cross between Pinot and Prosecco because it's sparkling. But yeah, so I've got her that. I've also got her a couple of bags of sweets, just because she's on a diet, not that she needs to be. Um, right now, so I got her some Percy and Penny pig and some Paul and the Cat killers. Um, so yeah. I got her a 
a mug, which I don't know if I can get in here. I think the price is still on it, so I need to get in. No, come on, there we go. So, yeah, can't see that. They like put it in the box, but they don't take the price off. Put that there. So it's like uh, it's like a little boothful mug. So it's, uh, it says, friends like you are special and few. With a friendship like ours, we can overlook each other's imperfections. That's if we had any, of course. So it's just a nice little mug. She drinks a lot of tea. So I thought I'm having to get her a little mug. These are all just little add-ons because her main present was obviously quite expensive, but you can't just get your best friend one thing. And then I got her a couple of books. Um, so anyone that's seen my past vlogs knows that I read this and it took a very long time. And I also read this. So um, Ellie was like, oh, I really want to read um, some of your books. So I thought, why not? I'll just get her um, them to read on her holiday. Um, and then her card. So it's like a little... I don't really know what it is, but it's funny. Because um, it's so us. Um, and then in here, um, we've also... Great idea of putting the tickets for American in Paris in the DVD. So I need to break into that in a minute. Um, but yeah, so we've got like a little leaflet and then inside are the tickets. I'm not quite sure what to do. So this is from me. So I'm not sure whether to put Max and Steph's in or to leave them as like an extra surprise. But um, we'll cross that bridge in a minute when we uh, wrap, start wrapping. I can't wrap for Toffee. I was going to swear then. <laughs> I can't wrap for Toffee. Uh, Adam's going to help me, but he's at work. So it's down to me because I wanted to film it what I'm going to buy. Also, shout out to my dad, who got very excited over this WH Smith bag. Apparently, they were out when he was a kid. I've never seen them, but, yeah. Um, I need to start getting ready in a minute, because I only have a couple of hours before I have to go. Um, I just straightened my hair this morning, but the heat's made it go a bit meh. So I need to do that, and put my false eyelashes on, and just get ready, really. So I'm going to try and take you along tonight. I'm not sure how much I'm going to film, but, yeah. So... Let's go, let's have fun. <laughs> Ready? Go. To Ellie! Ellie. I've read a book like this, but I can't what it's called, but I'll yeah. find it and let you know what it is. It's good. Is this what I think it is? <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> oh, thanks guys! <laughs> I've never actually seen the film, so that'll be useful. <laughs> Who's coming with us? These two! <laughs> it's recording. What did you say? Three twos. Bullshit. Three twos. <laughs> it's now Sunday and I didn't end the weekly vlog last night. Uh, if truth be told, we didn't get in until about quarter to three this morning and I actually fell asleep on Ellie's sofa um, from about one o'clock. So Adam uh, arrived at half twelve after he finished work and then he started joining in with all the games that were playing and I was so tired and so full from food and drink that I actually fell asleep on the sofa for a couple of hours. So I then, um, obviously Adam brought me home and um, I then went straight to sleep so I didn't obviously end the video. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it this week. It's been slightly different and hopefully a little bit more fun for you. And I hope you've enjoyed all the golf footage and obviously um, last night when we were at the party and obviously my massive loss at the game Peru Day. And obviously I qualify for nationals this week so it's been a really, really happy, lovely, content week for me. Um, I actually won't be vlogging this week coming up. Uh, because I have so many work commitments this week and I just won't have the time or the content to show you. So I will be resuming on Sunday the 4th of June uh, next week for the 13th weekly vlog. So I apologise, um, but I just don't want to bore you a lot with me not doing anything. Uh, so yeah, once again, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for future content. And I will see you in a couple of weeks. Goodbye.